Actually, the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> Oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> My friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> Hi, Orange. I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mix nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. Oh no, look at the time! I'm late to pick up the petals from the garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Ah, oh, well. Strawberry? Uh, where's Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the berry bitty bunny hop during the parade. But the berry kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help Plum, <laughs> but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. Parade dance. What do you think? Well, it's certainly. 
That's right. I think I left it in my bedroom somewhere. I'm sure that Plum is sorry, Blueberry. Well, I had to make do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be. I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. for this parade. Perhaps I can come back later and help all of you. Or better still, perhaps you three could help each other. Sorry, I'm in over my head. I have this entire map to read you, in pen. And my dance has a hippity right where there should be a hop. And these flowers aren't going to string themselves. <sighs> all right. Raspberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? Oh, don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> 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 that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what'll really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. <sighs> I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's 
what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Twirling. Mm, yep. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I've changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh, <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, 
I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. <laughs> Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Hard of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left us. <laughs> I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait, that voice is real. <gasps> Look, up there. <gasps> hey, over here. Whoa. We've just got to save her. Come on, everyone. you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. Yeah. 
ready? Yeah! What is it? I can't wait! Strawberry, it's beautiful. What's it called? Oh, Lallyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Well, go ahead. Dig in. Let me know what you think. as the best dessert chef in the Berry Bitty world has just gone up another notch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. This beats any dessert that my sister and I have ever created in our lives times ten. Well, what do you think? No, it's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts... Oh, that makes me happy. Mmm. 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 That did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <with> these <laughs> guys. <laughs> Morning, strawberry. <sighs> Morning, apple. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Mm. What's going on? I'm getting messages from all over the world. People wanting to order Strawberry's famous Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. How did it get to be famous? Oh, uh, I think I can answer that question. May I? Um, sure. Hey, that's my Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Famous Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprise. That's my new food review section on my Berry Best Bit site. I call it Yummy Yums. And the honor of my first food review went to you. Berry Bitty City, home to Strawberries Cafe, premiered a fantastically fabulous dessert. Yours truly was honored to be first to dip a spoon in the ultimate taste treat. <laughs> Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprise. Delectably delicious. Delightful flavor, taste tempting texture, a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. <laughs> you have to try it to believe it. Oh, Apple, you're so sweet. Ah, thanks, Strawberry. And every word of it is true. Like I say on my Berry Best Bits page, I call them like I taste them. And I've tasted them all around the Berry Bitty world. What can I say? Your desserts are incredible. Aw, thanks. I'm just sorry I have to disappoint all your readers. What do you mean? I'm getting messages from people all over the world trying to place orders for my Olali Berry Rhubarb Surprises. And I... Oh, here's another one. I'll have to tell them it's only available here at my cafe. Wait, wait, wait. No, what if it's not only available at your cafe? What? Where else? 24-7, around the globe. All dessert, all the time. That's it! Huh? Oh, Ali Berry Rhubarb Surprise! What if people can get it everywhere? Delivered right to their door! You mean, like a mail order business? Exactly! They order your dessert online, you mail it to them. Do you think that many people would really want to order my... How many's that? 112. Just so far this morning. And just for that one dessert. But why just one dessert? Strawberry, all your desserts are great. Think of it. You and Sweet and Sour could make them. I'll taste test them and review them in my Berry Best Bits page. And we ship them all over the world. What do you think? I think it sounds... big. Big? It's colossal! I can see it now. The 
Berry Bitty Cookery Company. Fresh desserts direct from Strawberry's Kitchen to your door. What do you think? Well, it sounds wonderful. 172. Are we going to tell them no? Or are we going to fill those orders? Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five yummy yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Great grape grandy. <sighs> Mmm! 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 Strawberry, you have done it again! Simple words fail to describe the great goodness. The incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Chew! Morning, Strawberry! A delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple! Uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your great grape grandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. <laughs> great, thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, 10 Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, 17 Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. Oh, uh, almost forgot. New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting.
problem, sort of a big problem, actually a really big problem. Maybe you can help me out? Well, certainly, if I can. What exactly is the problem? Well, you see, the word exactly, that's that's uh, part of the problem. Saying things exactly, that's a, uh, ooh, no, uh... It's kind of like a, what do you say when you want to say something but can't find the right words problem. Oh, I understand. So, what kind of things do you want to say? Well, <laughs> see, that's right there, another problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I gotta find some other words to say instead. I think I have something that'll help. You do, you do? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar. And the ones that mean the opposite. Whoa. And this one, this is my trusty dictionary. Tells you what all the words mean. Whoa, look at all these words. Isn't it incredible? Thousands, thousands of words. Any words you need, what they mean, how to spell them, how to say them. I mean, it's just, uh. Enjoy! Oh, Blueberry, thanks! I'll bring him back as soon as I'm done! What can I possibly say about Strawberry's new Very Berry Spice Royale cake? Words simply fail to describe it. Its color is beautifully exquisite, glamorously captivating. Its creamy texture is creamier than any texture I've ever experienced, soft and silky as a cloud. Yes, dessert lovers, I can tell you definitely, absolutely, and for sure, one taste of Very Berry Spice Royale will prove indubitably and irrefutably that it is an out of the ordinary, unexpected, and may I say, unique cake eating experience. This is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Sounds like she loved it. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to get a bigger thesaurus before she runs out of words. Hi, Strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very Berry Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Pretty better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Very Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is Strawberry Shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania. <gasps> She saw Apple's review of my Very Berry Spice Royale cake. She wants to order one for her inaugural ball. <laughs> Big enough to feed a hundred people! <gasps> oh, wow. That's great! <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd better get busy. Higher! Higher! Trust me, I'm trying! Hi, Blueberry. Brought your books back. Thanks, Apple. Did they help? Yep, perfectly. Problem solved. Well, looks like the mail order business is booming. And it's thanks to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Just calling them like I chased them. Oh, don't be modest. You know royalty is reading your very best bits page? No, come on. They're delivering a 16-layer cake that the Queen of Berryvania ordered for her inaugural ball. Wow, that's great! <gasps> uh, do you happen to know, uh, <laughs> what kind of cake it was? Very Berry Spice Royale, the one you raved about in your review. <gasps>
voice when the purple puff petals close and my nose can unstuff. <laughs> I bet it's nice to be able to smell and taste your own cooking again. Is it ever? I couldn't even... Berry Bitty Cookery Company, desserts direct to your door. Strawberries be... Oh, hello, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Burnt berry biscuits! Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty, but... Yes? Uh, yes, of course. I'll take care of everything. Strawberry? What is it? Tell you later. It's the cake. The Queen's cake. I gotta go! Put it back together again? you the truth. I should have told you the truth, too. Apple? What are you doing here? Tell me the truth about what? Your cake. I just couldn't find a way to say what was wrong with it. So I found a way to say everything that was right about it and left the bad news part out. What bad news part? The cake didn't taste very good. It didn't? No! Don't do that! Why? What's wrong with it? <laughs> So that's what happened. What? I put in persimmon pepper instead of persimmon powder. They're right next to each other on my spice rack. With my nose stuffed up, I couldn't smell the difference. Hi, sweet. Strawberry. No, everything's fine, but we're going to need another cake. I'm on my way back to help you. Uh, thanks. See you in a few. Strawberry, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to protect your reputation. It's okay, Apple. You never have to be afraid to tell me the truth about what you think of my cooking, good or bad. Just call them like you taste them. News reports from last night's exclusive inaugural ball for the Queen of Berryvania say it was the event of the year. Lots of high fashion, ballroom full of famous royalty, gigantic dinner attended by a blah, blah, blah. Ah, here. The Queen herself proclaimed the highlight of the evening was the sumptuous dessert from Berry Bitty City, Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Berry Spice Royale Cake. The most delicious I have ever tasted. Another order for Berry Berry Spice Royale! Mm. <laughs> Later. Mm, mm, mm. 
Right now, we're all on a cake break. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow Berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh! Can bloom. There he is. <laughs> Time for the Berry Fest Spring Festival. <laughs> According to my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition. There has to be a Berryfest princess, and Princess Berrykin has been Berryfest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berryfest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must plant the events, judge all the flowers, smell all the flowers, know all about spring, not to mention the Wanderberry, and of course, she <laughs> must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. yeah. The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a uh, lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. 
I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Oh, boy. I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh-oh. Ah! We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm going to ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 Oh, what are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. Um, Katie Buck, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. 
Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. <laughs> I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fest Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to, to write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? Uh, not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. 
But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> <laughs> Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh, 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 oh. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Now that we've voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Um, seven to five plus three. This kind of going carry the two and... Uh, yes? We have a tie! A tie? Oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a Berry Fest princess. I'm gonna be in the front of the parade. <laughs> The winner of the 
selection and the Berry Fest princess for this year is... <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! Me? But, but you voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest princess. That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, um, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh! Uh-huh! Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. for Barrick and Bruce. Oh, he's on a break. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, great, thanks. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> shoulders. Wow, it's from Barry Big City Motor Parts. <laughs> oh, bouncing berries. This is what the boss has been waiting for. The new hydraulic juicer rinser for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, oh let's go reach on the floor. <laughs> Let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. This hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Wow! <gasps> yep. <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great. <gasps> yes. Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh. Well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited. Nervous. I because what if it's if it's not what if she says who? Raspberry? The dog trainer? Oh, dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well, darling, are you sitting down? Because congratulations! We're hiring you to make six thousand and addresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? 
You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well, maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame, the fortune, the fans. Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes, uh, well, I guess. Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate, right away, and talk about... Yes, yes, starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns. <laughs> You have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come on! Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh! Hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? What part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Go, oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, uh, Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? Uh... We should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both! Better to be prepared. Good luck! Oh, wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck. Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you, do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> Crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. I ripped my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry will sew that up in. Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for 
a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Make way for the future fashion star of Berry Big City, the fabulous Raspberry. She eats up the fashion scene. Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look! It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, I can't wait to see that show. What a... Welcome to Berry Bitty City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blad Scarlet Cummerbuns! Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends and... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll, Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. Um, what was that? If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Da -da -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But... but this is my very first sewing machine. It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, shoo, shoo. Ra, 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 raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Rawr. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Uh, wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No, no guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. <laughs> this will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Cherry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should... 
ask Jerry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time. We know you gotta go and live your dream. We've been together for so long. You not here will feel so wrong. But time goes on and we have our said she needs her beauty sleep. She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. And I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of Raspberry? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in Berry Big City. <laughs> Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait. If it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the Berry Big City Yacht Club. Look! Raspberry's here! She does care about us. Let's go back and restart the race. Hi, Raspberry. Glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party! Oh, oh I... Oh, no! 
Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out! <laughs> 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 Look at me! <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind. wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. <gasps> oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster. These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Hi, Postmaster Bumblebee. Now, what could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> could it be... This <laughs> delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Apple Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna want to sing. <laughs> Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream To dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on girls, let's have some fun Cause that's all day under the sun Because the sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls and Jump up, move to the groove Sway to the left
chat. Snorkel check. Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Uh oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very, very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Right. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these hotels from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. Uh, there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. Yep. True. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Berry Breezy Bay Resort with a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Berry Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Berry Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests, just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? 
Mm, yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sunshine, crafts. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My very bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! <laughs> Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no! Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You wanna have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? It, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> No! 
Do you think Orange is going to be all right? We better go check on her. Oh, Orange, we know how hard you worked. You really tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? Mm, the resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh, not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope. These are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right! <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so this many is ideas! Be great. Come on, let's get going! exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, 
they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow our vacation begins. Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort. Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream To dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the light talk show's first fashion contest. Oh, a fashion contest? <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming Berry Net show possible. So our theme is <laughs> technology in fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you very in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you 
up to be the star. Uh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had a run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant! It's brilliant! <laughs> I think you better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make. And a special skirt that Raspberry will make. A skirt that's also a video screen. Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And what the hair cam films will be you, demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen! Wow! That's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of! You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Uh, not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do this? Um, Strawberry, what if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry, in the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginners best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. <laughs> so I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go! I have to finish three pedicures, three berry bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials. That's what you
what you get when you skip breakfast. Oh, muffin crumbs. Forgot to pack breakfast. Hey, strawberries. Oh, not ripe. There's got to be a ripe one around here somewhere. <laughs> My text? No. Didn't you get my text? Flying waffles! The cafe! Wait! Do you smell that? Yeah! Smells really good! It's no one's fault, Sour. Things just happen. If you had checked the air, maybe things wouldn't have just huh? happened. I would have if you hadn't insisted on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm. Mm, 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 that's delicious. If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm. Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Diced dates a la sour. No! Stop! It is so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get that? I know we just met, and we barely know you, but how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake! I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. Mm -hmm. And perfect! We are about to make fashion history! <gasps> Good afternoon, miss. Please have a seat. Take your order. Uh, who, who are? No hurry. Take your time to peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already. Uh, wait, who? What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my, I mean, our specials. Today we have Sweets Banana Butter Squash Bleak. I mean, bisque. Sours, salsify, sunflower salad. Mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special. The other chef made it. But <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue. Or I should say fondue. Ew. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Uh... Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. 
I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! Raspberry! I was supposed to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, finished with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh. She's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace, and she's not. Oh, she must have went her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon? I thought you were going to tell her about the twins. <gasps> A pyramid. Oh, I never serve pyramids in my cafe. Oh, dear. Who are these people? Is there something wrong with your papaya pyramid? Uh, if someone would just tell me what is... I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. Strawberry! We can explain! Some strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. Oh, we sort of, kind of, thought we would, well, we didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs, especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> the dinner! We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. <sighs> I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? <laughs> oh, that! Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. Oh. <sighs> Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Breathe deeply. Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah! <laughs> uh, what is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Tickle Bun. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Mm -mm, not really. So, let's try a word association exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure. Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise. It's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I reckon.
recommend Lemon Verbena and Skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> I'd like to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barakin, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <sighs> oh, great! I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh, so you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no. Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me! It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh. Well, that was. But this isn't! Ah! <gasps> uh, my apron! My apron! That you stole! Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron! <gasps> you call this a parsley puff? You... you... Sous chef! Sous chef? Oh! Take that! And quick! Play something! Girls! Girls! Breathe! Breathe! Peace! Yeah. Harmony! Friendship! I did? Together? Of course not. Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Hmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. 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 Ah! Mmm! That's it. Uh, they're both great on their own. But mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings, and we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best! If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit, we aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow! Tonight we eat! <laughs>